under the chapter python data types we are going to discuss python lists list is a very common and very usable data type in python so in this session we shall discuss what is a list what are the different operations we can carry out on a list what are the different methods and functions we can uh, carry out on this list data types in python there is a range of compound data types often referred to as a sequence that means a sequence will have a range of different data type members a sequence will have different members and those members may have the same or different data types list is one of the most frequently used and very versatile data type used in python so we usually define list and enclosing the members separated by them commas and enclosing them within the square brackets and also we can go for nested lists so here we shall discuss creation of a list accessing list elements list positive and negative indexing and then slicing lists change and adding new list elements and deletion and remove uh, of elements from the list so these are the uh, different um, uh, operations which you can carry out on the list will be discussing in this session now these are the python list methods so here we are having list of methods we are having so let us suppose we are going for this append method add an element to the end of the list extend add all elements of a list to the another list so a list of elements or the collection of elements will get appended now here we are having this insert insert an item at the def defined index of the list next one is the remove so this remove method removes an item from the list we are having the pop clear index count short reverse and copy where we have given the short descriptions of all these list methods list built in functions so they are all that is a return true if all elements of the list are true any return true if any list element of the list is true enumerate return all enumerate object it contains the index and the value of the items of the list as a tuple data type so len returns the length that is the number of items in the list so in this way you can have the list max min shorted and sum so these are the list built in functions which are applicable on the list so i think for the better uh, clarity let us go for the demonstration and we shall show you that in python code how these methods can be used how to define one list and how to carry out different operations on list so here is the demonstration for you in python a list is created by placing all the items also known as the elements inside the square brackets and these elements will be separated by commas and they may be of same or different data types list is mutable that means we can perform insert delete update operations on this list elements so let us discuss how to create one empty list so creating one empty list can be done in this way list one is equal to open square bracket and close square bracket now if i go on printing we're printing we're getting this list as of an, an empty list we're having this list of integers we're having the set of values are there so they are the members of the list and list two is the list variable and print uh, list two we're getting this outcome like this we're having the list of four float numbers so we are having three float numbers are there float numbers are having the fractional parts and also containing the decimal points and when you are printing this list three we're getting the outcome something like this a list can have data or the elements or the members of same or different data types you can find that 101 is of the type of integer pronoun is of the type of string this is my float again so this is my float and it is my string back again so if you print this list for we're getting the outcome like this here we are defining one list the list is containing the list name is days and containing our day names so we are printing this one so we are getting the outcome like this so we are just executing next we are going for accessing list members using index so always remember the first uh, member will be at the index 0 so index 0 index 1 2 3 4 5 6 so here we are having seven elements so the index are index is ranging from 0 to 6 here so days 0 means it will print uh, it will just retrieve this sun days 2 means it will retrieve this to you t u e 
and here we are having this this four so that means thu will be retweet here now we can also have the negative index so negative index means we will be calculating or we will be counting this index values from the very last so this set will be at the index minus one we can also consider that 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 is the index of set. And also from the last, if you consider, then minus 1 will be the index of set. So minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. In this way, the index will be calculated in the negative, in the negative values. So days minus 1 will retrieve this set. Days minus 2 will be retrieving this fry. And days minus 3 will be retrieving this THU. So, set, fry and THU will be the outcome in this case. So, if we print the days 20, so here you see where we are not having the 20 such elements. So, that's why if you want to print this one, so then one error will occur and that is known as the index error and the message is list index out of range. Now, we are going for the nested list. So, in this particular nest list, we are having the first element is weekday and the second element is the list list itself. So, nest list 0, that means it will print this weekday. Nest nest list uh, 0, comma 3. So, 0 and then 3, not comma. Actually, you are putting them under these square brackets, within these square brackets. So, that means the 0 means the list element number 1 and its third um, character. So, there is a 0th character. This is W is at the 0th place. So now we are having this E first place, E second place and index of uh, K will be 3 here. So that's why K has got printed here. Okay, so we are, we are getting this K here. Now we are going for the next list 1. That means the element number 1 and it's 0th zero uh, zero member. So that is 1 here. And next net, uh, net list 1, so that is a, a second element and now we are going for the index number 1. So that means 0 and 1. So that means 2 will be retrieve from this list so 2 has got printed here now we are going for the slicing list contents we are going for the slicing list contents so the, here we are having these days with this list members so here we can find that these are the list elements we are having so days 1 colon 4 so we, we should remember that 1 colon 4 means we are starting from the index 1 and ending at the index 4 minus 1 that means always remember the terminating index will be excluding that means there is our index number 1 here, 1, 2, 3. So, man, to you and wed will be retrieved here. So, when you are not mentioning the starting index, so then it will consider 0. And 4 is always exclusive because the ending index will be exclusive. That means now it will be retrieving the data items from the index 0, 1, 2 and 3. So, that means 0, 1, 2 and 3. So, that's why this sun, man, to you and wed, it has got printed here. So now here you see we are mentioning the starting index number but not mentioning the ending index. So in that case what will happen it will from the various uh, from the index number one element it will go to the last. So index number one element means this man, to be wed, THU, FRI and SAT. So that means they will get printed accordingly. When you are not mentioning any kind of start and end index in that case it will print the, print the full list contents as it is printing here. So now we are going for, so if you also you can go for the negative index, you can, you can find that I'm just printing print days. So I'm going for here, say minus four colon minus one. So now if I go on printing, it is printing this one. Why it is printing this one? So this is our minus one, minus two, minus three and minus four because we are starting this index from the last. So this is my minus one. So always remember it will be printing from minus 4 to minus 1 and minus 1 is always exclusive. Always remember the ending index will be exclusive. So that's as a result of that minus 4 element means minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 index. So that is a WED, then THU and then FRI. So they have got these members, these elements have got retrieved from this list days. So in this way you can do so. Okay, now you see. If I write up to this, that means from the from the minus fourth element from the last to the to the last element because I I haven't mentioned any kind of ending index here, so it will go on printing up to this. So similarly, if I go for this, if you don't mention anything, so it will print like this. So it will go on printing like this because minus one is exclusive, so sat will not get printed here. So in this way, you can go for the least content slicing.
insert and update list elements so this is our uh, mother list here you can find this is our mother list so now let me go for the execution we are getting this thing printed and then days one colon four so one two and three in the three different subscripts we are putting the value so one two three that is a monday tuesday and wednesday so when you are printing this updated days we are getting this uh, list content something like this. So this is a uh, Monday has got inserted at index 1 because it is at index 0 Tuesday has got inserted at index 2 and Wednesday has got in that, uh, Inserted at index 3 here. So now we are going for this 0 that is a day 0 that is a day's name So now you see here at the 0 index the uh, Respective Sun this particular string has got replaced by days names here Now we shall go for the append we shall go for the append. So this is our mother list and it has got printed. Now app dot append 7. Always remember using this append method we can uh, append only one element at a time. So that's why dot append 7. So 7 has got appended at the end of the list. But in case of extend we can pass a list as the input parameter. This particular extend method is taking one list as a, as a parameter. So as a result of that we can go on uh, mentioning multiple elements in this list and as a result of that this 9, 11 and 13 they have got appended at the end of the list using the method extend. Now here we are having this odd number so it is having the value 1, 3 and 5. So print odd numbers so I am getting this respective list content and this plus is actually denoting the concatenation. So concatenation of two lists so depending upon the order so this first list will be the will be coming at the first and the rest elements will be coming as the next so that's why we're getting this one three five and seven nine and eleven here so now here we're having this info start three so info start three means we're having this info has got repeated for three times we're having this info has got repeated for three times and that is a uh, there is a list content here okay i think you are getting my point we are going for this list inserting list elements. So we are having this 1 and 9. So only two members are there 1 and 9. So we are going for this odd nums printing. So we are getting this 1 and 9. So now insert. What is this? This is the index number. What is the index number? That is a location number 1 or index number 1. And the element to be inserted is 3. So at the index number 1, so 0, 1. So at this particular index, we are inserting this 3 here. It is not update. It is insert. So as a result of that, 9 will get shifted and it will make a room for the new element 3 to be put here. So now we are going for this 2 colon 2. That means from the look at the location number 2, that is index number 2. So 0, 1, 2, we are going to insert this list with the two elements. So that is we are having this 5, 7 in this way. And 9 is the last one. So now you, you see, if I put another data, if I put another data here, if you go on inserting, you can find that it has got printed in this way but don't put don't use the uh, I'm just uh, going for the copy okay so if you don't mention this two colon two if you mention only two then what will happen in that case you see this five seven eleven will be inserted as a list as one of the elements of the list and at the location number two here so obviously these two outcomes are totally different now we are going for the deleting list elements so here is the mother list we are having that is a welcome you can find welcome is there so print list one we are getting this outcome like this so now del list one two so at the element which will be at the index number two will get deleted so zero one two so l will get deleted here so i am remaining with this welcome this particular list updated list here so two so print list one we are getting this l is not uh, is not there so l has got deleted here so delete and enter list in that case you can go for the del list one so del is nothing but one keyword with the help of which you can delete the enter list so now next time if you go on printing this list one then what will happen it will tell that name list one is not defined and the respective error is name error because the list one is now not existing because the, the list one has got deleted by the keyword that is about del now here we are having uh, another example so where we are having printing this uh, this list two we are printing this list two so now we are going to remove this p then what will happen so as we are removing, removing this p here so wherever the p is existing so that thing will get deleted so now you can find that the p has got deleted so we are remaining with this remaining letters 
So now let me put another P here only to show that when what will happen if we are having multiple P. So now you can find that P is getting deleted only from the first occurrence. The P is getting deleted only from the first occurrence and the later the P is still surviving here. So that, that will indicate that this particular element whatever you are mentioning with this remove method that is the first occurrence of that element will get deleted. Next we are going for this pop one. So as you are mentioning the index so from that very index the item will be popped out. So now we are having this so now what will happen this O this particular O will be popped out and so I will be remaining with this list that is updated one so where O is not present here. So now if you go for only pop if you go for only pop without mentioning any index here then the last element will be popped out. So what is the last element here M. So M has got popped out and we are having the reduced list. So if we execute this pop method once again so then E will be popped out and you will be remaining with this reduced list here. If you go for list 2 dot clear it is not del it is a clear then we are remaining with the empty list here so all the members will get cleared here but the list will be there the variable list will be there the object list will be there so that's why it is not producing such a name error it is uh, it is just printing the list with the empty content now this python list method so now we are going for the different list methods so this is our uh, list is there and we are going to print this one now we are going for this dot index list uh, variable dot indexed 88 so it will just retrieve the first occurrence of this 88 the first occurrence of this 88 the respective index number so that is one here so now we are going for this list one dot count 88 in that case it will count that, that how many times this 88 is there then list three dot short so it the elements will get shorted and list three dot reverse we are getting this reverse short so in the first case in case of short we are getting this list members in the ascending order but in case of reverse we are getting this list members in the descending order so now we are having this one so x in range 10 we know that whenever we are having this range 10 that means x will have the value ranging from 0 to 9 that means 10 will be exclusive here so that is 0 to 9 here and we are going to make one list uh, with the members that is 2 to the power of x so what will happen if we go on executing we can find that it is nothing but 2 to the power of 0 2 to the power of 1 2 to the power of 3 2 to the power of 2 rather 2 to the power of 3 and then it is nothing but 2 to the power of 9 here so in this way the list 4 is getting populated with these values which we haven't passed the values directly but we have mentioned one uh, one expression here so x in range 10 so that means the x will be ranging from 0 to 9 so 2 star x for x in range 10 will prepare the list with this respective members. So now we are going for the list membership check. So this is a list here. So we are going for the output. So this is a list here. So 88 in list 3. So 88 is occurring. So the output outcome is true. And here we are having 100 in list 88 not in list 3. So 88 is present. So that's why it is producing the output false. 100 in the list three so it is producing output false hundred not in list three it is producing output true here iterating through a list so for weekday in mon twi wed where thu and uh, fry here so now if you go on printing you can also get the output like this so from the list uh, from the list you can pick up uh, each and every member in this iteration and this iterating through a list and here we are using this for loop here next one we are having multiple list in build functions are there so there is a max of list 3 will return the maximum value in the list min of list 3 we are getting the minimum value of the list and then len of list 3 it will return the number of elements in the list and they here we are uh, uh, getting this shorted list here so shorted list 3 and sum of list 3 will give us the sum of the all elements of this list here so in this way in this particular demonstration we have discussed uh, regarding the list and what are the different operations we can apply on the list and that we have demonstrated with certain examples thanks for watching this video